Choosing between AMD and Intel is one of the most important decisions when building a new PC. Just like the debate between Mac OS and Windows, the competition between AMD and Intel is one of the most hotly debated topics among PC enthusiasts. Between AMD and Intel, which is better in 2025? Check out the full review in the following video. A Brief History of AMD vs. Intel AMD and Intel are two very well-known processor brands for PCs and laptops. Both compete to offer the fastest and most advanced processors for gamers, everyday internet users, and professionals. Over time, AMD and Intel have released innovative processor designs, with AMD successfully breaking into the market with the launch of its current Ryzen processors. When the Ryzen processor was first released, AMD brought fierce competition to Intel. Since then, the rivalry between the two brands has intensified. Today, both AMD and Intel offer the latest designs with the best CPU performance ever. With increased core counts, higher clock speeds, and new features, the best processors from AMD and Intel are attracting attention. For novice users, choosing between AMD and Intel can be confusing. Both brands have their own strengths and weaknesses. It is important to consider your personal needs and budget when choosing a processor. Do your research first, compare specifications and performance, and also consider price and software support before making your final decision. The right processor choice will impact your PC's performance and user experience, so make sure to choose wisely and according to your needs. The difference between AMD and Intel the two have several significant differences, and sometimes the answer is quite subjective because it depends on what kind of processor you are looking for. Here are the differences between AMD and Intel that you should know. First, processor performance. The first difference between AMD and Intel lies in the number of processor cores offered. AMD, especially in the Ryzen series, usually has more cores and threads. This makes AMD superior for heavy tasks such as video editing, 3D rendering, or running multiple applications at once. With simultaneous multi-threading technology, AMD maximizes processor core performance to handle more tasks. Meanwhile, Intel is better known for its stronger single-core performance. This advantage affects applications or games that still rely on a single core to work optimally. In addition, Intel often offers higher clock speeds, making it faster at performing simple tasks that do not require many cores. Second, power efficiency. Next is power efficiency. With the latest architecture, such as Zen 4, AMD has succeeded in improving its energy-saving capabilities. AMD processors can now work more efficiently with lower power consumption. However, for heavy tasks, AMD sometimes still requires extra power to maintain maximum performance. On the other hand, Intel is known for being more consistent in maintaining power efficiency, especially in processors for thin laptops or ultrabooks. Thanks to Turbo Boost technology, Intel is able to adjust power usage according to the workload. This means that when only performing light tasks, power consumption can be reduced while still delivering superior performance. Third, integrated graphics. The difference between AMD and Intel is also evident in terms of integrated graphics. AMD has a series of APUs, or accelerated processing units, with Radeon graphics, which are known to be more powerful than Intel's. 
With this, you can get graphics performance that is sufficient for daily needs and light gaming without having to buy an additional graphics card. Meanwhile, Intel also offers integrated graphics through Intel UHD and Iris XE graphics. Although Iris XE offers a significant performance boost, its capabilities still fall short when compared to Radeon and AMD APU processors, especially for graphics-intensive applications or games. Fourth, Compatibility Support AMD is known to be more upgrade-friendly because their processor sockets usually last longer. For example, the AM4 socket supports several generations of Ryzen, so you don't need to replace your motherboard often. In addition, AMD is also more open to overclocking, even in many of their processor series. On the other hand, Intel tends to change sockets more frequently with each new generation launch. This means users have to buy a new motherboard if they want to upgrade. However, Intel has another advantage in the form of a broader hardware ecosystem. Fifth, price and value. In general, the difference between AMD and Intel can also be seen in terms of price and value. AMD usually offers processors at more affordable prices. This makes AMD feel more value for money because users can get high performance without having to spend a lot of money. On the other hand, Intel tends to be priced higher, especially in its high-end lines such as the Core i9. However, this price is in line with its superiority in single-core performance, which is essential for modern gaming or applications that are sensitive to single-core speed. Which is your best choice, Intel or AMD? The choice between Intel and AMD is often confusing, especially for those of you who want to buy a new PC. Both brands actually have their own advantages that can be tailored to your needs, whether it's gaming, creative work, or daily use. Here are some important points that can help you make your choice. First, for gaming. Intel excels with its single-core performance and high clock speed, making it more stable for games that still rely on single-core performance. However, AMD's latest Ryzen series is also capable of competing with this performance, especially when paired with the right graphics card. Second, for creative work. AMD is usually preferred because it offers more cores and threads at a more affordable price. This makes it more suitable for creative work such as editing, rendering, and multitasking. Third, for daily or business use, Intel provides more consistent power efficiency, especially in laptops and ultrabooks. This makes it more ideal for office use, mobility, or professional needs with broad ecosystem support, 